My name is Karen and in this video I'll share a simple way to develop your focus. So when I started meditation over 10 years ago, learning to focus on the flame of a candle was one of the first things that I was taught. So it's no wonder that this meditation has a very special place in my heart and that's why I wanted to share with you all. So I've divided this video into three parts. In the first part, I will share my story with candle meditation and what I learned from it, and also what you can benefit with a consistent practice. In the second part, I'll share some basic instructions for this meditation. And in the third part, we will do this meditation together for six minutes. So when I started candle meditation, I will be honest with you, initially I used to think it's a torture because who wants to sit and just stare at the flame of a candle when you could be doing a gazillion other things, right? So my story is that in the initial few weeks, actually months, I would have all these thoughts swirling in my head that how I was missing out on life by doing candle meditation. You know, I would have thoughts like, oh, I could be clubbing or I could be shopping or I could be, you know, fill in the blanks and that I shouldn't be meditating. And what's so interesting is that while on one hand, I would have all these thoughts on the other hand, every single time I would end my meditation practice, I would walk away from the meditation, I would always feel the sense of joy and elation that I did something right. And that was quite honestly the only thing that would keep bringing me back to candle meditation. Because I was always intrigued, like why do I feel so happy when I get done with meditation? So needless to say, when I was first starting out in meditation, it was really hard, especially with candle meditation because we are not really taught to sit in one place and to just focus all our energies at one point. And especially in today's day and age when you know there are so many distractions from social media to all kinds of things vying for our attention, it becomes even more challenging to just want to quiet down and sit and make time for candle focus. So I use these words candle focus and candle meditation interchangeably. So if I say one thing, just know that I am referring to candle meditation. So back to what I was sharing, you know, if you are just starting out meditation, have lots and lots and lots of patience with yourself because it is literally taking baby steps in claiming your power over your mind, over your body. And it takes practice, it takes diligent effort. So just know that. So one of the first things that I learned from candle meditation was learning to still my mind. You know, when I first started out, for first few months, my mind would just talk endlessly. Like there were a gazillion thoughts in my head and I was quite surprised for the first time at how chatty that inner talk was. But as I kept up with the practice and after a few months, you know, I would have these moments of silence that quite honestly were pure bliss. And after a couple of months, those moments of silence grew a little bit more and a little bit more where after a while I could really sense and feel and tune into what it would be like to have a mind that doesn't have that inner chatter, that doesn't have that constant swirling of thoughts and commentary all the time. Now you might be wondering like, okay, I get the point, you feel bliss when you have silence, but what's the benefit of silence? Like why should you even care about it, right? Now, if I were to ask you, how valuable would it be for you to know which career path to take, whom to marry, whom to date, which business opportunity to take, and uh, what kind of people to stay away from? I think majority of us would say, yes, I think that would be a pretty nice thing to know. And you know, that is exactly what intuition enables. And that gift of knowing, of intuition, comes from sitting in silence. Another thing that I learned from candle meditation was to sit with discomfort. Like, you know, a lot of times we have these charged memories that come up and in our day-to-day -day life, when something like that comes up, for most of us, we look for distractions. We look for a way to keep our mind busy because it hurts so much to look at those emotions that are bubbling up to the surface and we don't want to deal with them. But what I noticed with candle meditation was that every time I sat in silence, and just stared at the flame of a candle. Anytime those charged memories came up, there was nowhere to run. I had to learn to be with them and to just witness them for what it is. And quite honestly, that was a lesson which I never learned anywhere in my life and I highly doubt 
if I would have learned it any other way. And you know, in looking back, the more I was willing to just breathe through discomfort, breathe through pain, fear, anxiety, the more I was able to develop emotional resilience. Like I got to a point where I could feel the fear and still be okay with it. Because prior to learning meditation, anytime I felt fear, I would dash to fridge. Like overeating was my way of coping with fear. So you can only imagine what a beautiful gift and a transformation it caused in my life. Another benefit of candle meditation that it really helps you to concentrate all your energies. You know, in majority of the times, all our energies are scattered, much like this. And what learning to do candle meditation, what it teaches us is to bring all our awareness at one point. And when you consistently focus your energies at one place, what you will notice is after a period of time, you will develop more self-awareness and more clarity of thought. So with that, let's talk about a few basic instructions that you can keep in mind for this meditation. So first and foremost, you want to be in a dark place so that you know you don't have distractions coming towards you because your mind is going to do all the chatting and you want as less distractions as possible. Also, when it's a dark room, it's much easier to focus on the flame of a candle and you can actually see it rather easily. The next thing is that you want to keep the candle flame at about 12 inches from you, not too close, not too far, because again, you want to focus at the black of the candle. And finally, when you are doing candle meditation, make sure that your breaths are deep and long so you really are giving an opportunity to relax your nervous system. Another thing that I wanted to share is that when you are doing meditation, like don't stare at the candle flame. I remember this was something that I did. And then, you know, I remember um, a friend telling me, she said, Kiran, when you go to a movie, are you staring at the movie? And I'm like, no. She said, your body is actually quite relaxed as you're watching the movie. And she said, this is exactly like so in candle meditation. You're just observing the flame of a candle. You're not staring at it and you're not trying to do anything but to just witness it and to just be with it. So that was one side note that I thought was worth mentioning. And with that, let's prepare for meditation. Make sure you have no distractions for the next six minutes. Also turn off the lights in your room so you're in a dark place. I'll put an image of a candle on the screen so you can focus on that. Or if you have a candle at home and if you would like to use that, that's perfectly fine. There will be no audio during the duration of the meditation except for background music. And when you hear a sound like so, that would be the end of the meditation practice. And if you're ready, let's begin. 